Brining is an easy and very effective way to keep your meats juicy and tender while they cook. But there's a lot more to the science of brining than just dunking your chicken in salty water. First off, let's talk about what brining is and how it works. Brining is the process of soaking meat or seafood in water with salt. The goal is to use modest concentrations of salt to cause the muscle tissue to swell and absorb water. When the salt dissolves into the water, it dissociates into positively charged sodium ions and negatively charged chloride ions. These ions are actually what diffuse into the food. As they do, the chloride ions accumulate along the surface of protein filaments in the meat, lending each filament a slight negative charge. Now, opposite charges attract, but like charges repel. So as neighboring filaments gain negative charge, they push each other apart. The water from the brine fills in the space, actually causing the meat to swell visibly. What's more, the water that gets sucked into the meat tends to stay there, held in place by chemical forces that resist shrinking. So the juices stay in the meat while it cooks. We've done experiments at the Modernist Cuisine Cooking Lab that show that brined meat is actually more tender after cooking. We've used a machine called a Warner Bratzler Tenderometer, which is the real name, to measure how much force is needed to shear through brined and unbrined chicken breast cooked at the same time and temperature. The results were clear. The brined chicken breast was not only juicier, but more tender as well. Achieving the right salt content or salinity of the meat can be tricky. The dissolved salt in a brine diffuses into the meat essentially the same way heat diffuses via conduction. Now, just as heat flows from hot to cold regions, ions flow from areas of high concentration to places where the concentration is lower. The main difference is speed. Dissolved salt moves through flesh 100 to 1,000 times slower than heat does. It can take days for a brine to fully penetrate a thick cut. And then there's the skin. Usually cooks want skin to be crispy, but brining traps water in the skin just as it does in the meat. Excess water is the enemy of crispy skin, so these factors make brining poultry a particularly tricky problem. But we have a solution. In Modernist Cuisine at Home, we show you how you can inject your brine into the poultry to speed up the process, ensure even brining, and keep the skin dry so that it roasts to a crispy golden brown. The technique is pretty simple. Create a basic brine by mixing water with 6% of its weight in salt until the salt dissolves completely. Then, use a brining syringe to inject the brine directly into the breast, leg, and thigh muscles of the bird without piercing the skin. You'll see the muscles swell as you fill them with brine, but be careful not to inject too quickly or the muscles may burst. The goal is to inject the brine evenly so that no part of the meat is more than an inch from an injection site. After you inject the brine, it'll take some time for the dissolved salt to equilibrate through the meat, but this process will be much faster and more even than if you submerge the whole bird in a bath of brine. With this method, you'll be amazed at how much and how quickly you can improve the quality of even a simple roast chicken. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe to Chow and check us out at modernistcuisine.com. Warner's Bradstreet, the things you do to me. But we have a solution. A salt solution. <laughs> Zing.